dear participant today the topic that i am going to discuss is known as different types of banquet setup my name is amit gupta assistant professor with the chitkara school of hospitality chitkara university punjab the content of the different slides covers the introduction to the different types of banquet setups and we'll talk about types of banquet setup here we'll talk about in uh, there would be many pictographic which we'll discuss and you will understand the different types of banquet setup. let's move forward let's talk about introduction i hope everyone will agree with what i'm going to tell you now the design and decor of function rooms like the food and beverage that are served in them can take many forms a simple coffee break can be served in an undecorated theme less room while elaborated reception meeting or reception has complex layout and decoration to fit the theme i hope you all will agree with me additionally the guests at banquet and catered event must be served quickly their layout and service chains should be set up to allow for maximum staff efficiency the layout should be in practical nature so that it is easy for the staff as well as for the guest movement and for sitting and for the service point of view now the best way to to lay out a room is dependent on a number of factors including let's move on are space available inside the banquet hall because different function require different space capacity inside the banquet hall. so based on what kind of function it is we have to look allocate the banquet hall appropriately size of the audience that means minimum number of packs guaranteed and maximum number of packs guaranteed Spectral level of activity and interaction required, place required for din dinner tables, meeting tables, and head tables. Details of equipment required like projector, screen, lectern, clip chart, board, dance floor, stage, DJ, and hence forth. The type of service that is required, whether you need a sit down full service or you need a buffet, or you need, you need a club together, different types of service. Now, different types of banquet setups are banquet wedding style, bank. Board meeting style, hanging board, office board style, hollow square style, lecture room, trading room style, school room or classroom style, T shape style, theater style, and U style. These are a few of the prominent types of different banquet setup that you can find in the banquet hall. So let's discuss one by one each and every one. The first one which we talked about is known as banquet wedding style. It is a very prominent and you'll find everywhere. Where the sit-down buffet is being organized for 4 to 40 people, where we have food counters at different junctions, uh, we have two projectors being lined up, there is a one DJ in between, and you have round tables which is in rows and columns, and which are diagonally to each other also, so that the space management could be done in the best possible manner. This is what the setup of a waiting style banquet setup would be. Now, uh, many of the places there could be a few of these square table, uh, rectangular tables also used or square table used, but probably you will find round tables are being used in the banquet halls for the wedding style function. Then we have board meeting style setup where there is a conference room where you can find uh, a, conic, a, a round or an oval table, or there could be a rectangular table that is joined together, or there is a long rectangular table where people are sitting facing to each other and discussing on certain agenda in a meeting style. Then we have herringbone or fish bone. It is a structure which is in the form of a fish bone. It is a structure of the fish bone, I would say, where all the chairs that are being placed are facing towards the head table. Okay, there is a space gap between all the chairs so that the movement is easy for the guest. For there is a easy, uh, there is movement easiness for the guest and everything is facing towards the head table look at the hollow square table this is used for meeting purpose or for or a conference sort of thing where there is a rectangular table are being used which is clubbed together and there is hollowness in between so that everyone who is sitting can face each other Many of the places in the bank will find that some plantation is being done out there, but we have to make sure that the plantation that is being done is not a high level, otherwise the uh, eye contact would be a difficult task. Then we have lecture room, training room style, where everyone is being seated in rows and columns. There is one head table where the trainer would be sitting and there is one audiovisual or a flip card which is being placed for the trainee, for the uh, trainer to train the trainee. It is, uh, 
it is very prominent that you find in most of the uh, places for training purpose. Then we have a school room, a classroom style. It is you must have seen in your classroom where one head table is there, where the teacher is sitting or the faculty is sitting, and opposite to the head table for the teacher, you will find there is a desk which could be in round rectangular form, and behind the rectangular table. You have chairs for the student to sit and listen to what the faculty or the teacher or the professor is. Then we have a T style uh, setup where we have uh, rectangular tables being used for the head table, and at the center of the head table, there is one uh, table which is being uh, one or two or three tables being attached. Keeping in mind how much capacity do you want for that type of table setup. So based on that. On the head table, uh, the chief guest or the head people would be sitting, and in the row, I would say, facing each other, there are chairs being attached for the attendees to uh, attend the meeting. Then we have a theater style. It is like auditorium. Or you must have gone to a theater to watch a movie where you have must have seen there is a screen. Now here in the theater style, there is one elevated platform where the head table is being placed, and rest of the attendees. Would be sitting in different rows, and each row have some space between the two chairs so that it is easy for the movement of for the for the attendees. This is known as theater style table setup. Then we have a U shape style setup where it is similar to a hallway, but on one side it is open, so it looks in the form of a U, and everybody is sitting on one side only and listening to or attending the meeting. This is what we have planned, and this is what was planned. I hope you have liked and learned a lot from this session. Thank you.